Hello, um, uh, what's it called? I made Lego Transformers in my custom one. You can see he's a little semi truck. It's not Optimus Prime. I'm calling him Downside. And he played the intro. Okay, so get wrecked world because it's April 1st where I am. And now, time for the transformation. Well, his name is Downside because I like that name. And I had a Transformers phase and I had a Minecraft Lego phase, which I haven't gotten rid of. And a Terraria phase, which I still haven't gotten rid of. I've had that ever since I was, not born, but like since I was like four or five. But I'm not in the Transformers phase again. I'm in a Lego Transformers phase. And I'm not into Transformers. I'm just in how the design of them work. So I made my own custom little guy. Um, downside. I really like him. It's really nice. And he does transform for his size. I took a little bit of inspiration from a couple of online videos. But he is, what's it called? Different sort of because his arms they always make his arms sort of on the hinges sort of break out and i'd never like that but here's the transformation so you're wanna gonna grab one side and move one side of the front or at least move it like that and do the same for the other so if that happens if the back falls out that's fine it's not very stuck together but it, it, it is possible to do it all you know connected it's just really hard but if you want you can break it and do it to pieces so once you have the front part you just lift down the front of the truck and that's one part and then now for the back of the truck actually i would suggest putting leaving it on here so once we have this you want to flip this around very similar to optimus you flip the back around like this maybe here let's show it by the front you move the here you move these things if you i can actually show you it's pretty dark but move not that this sort of blue yeah you want to turn that if it doesn't break off this is my first one and i'm not good and it's very small so if it breaks off just put it where you want it to go and that will bring out the arms. The head will come over just like that. Put the arms in the front. And there you have downside at, in robot mode. And the reason I'm in Lego Transform I'm in a Lego Transformers phase is because I saw a bunch of RX rollout. I used to watch them when I had my Transformers phase. I always had my Lego phase, but my Transformers phase. And I used to watch them. Because I was a Lego and Transformer nerd, which I'm not a Transformer nerd anymore. Um, I used to just watch a lot of his videos. But now, here he has his little sword. There was one I was doing earlier where he's like, like, sort of like, and you just, and then you lift up. Yeah, he's like a little cheering pose. I kind of like, um, it's really nice. He's like in a little cheering pose with his sword. The little back of the car becomes a sword. If you don't want that, you could just take it off. This part will come off too. It's a good thing. I have an extra that you just put here. And now he's just like that. Actually, he also comes with a few different things. First of all, um, he comes with this little blaster that you can also put in vehicle mode, which I will show you in a second. But, so you could just move his hands down, like back to normal, how I made him. Take out the, one of the studs where you want to put the gun. He has a couple of weapons. Yeah, you can take the stud out. 
So you can see he is missing a stud, and that's where you want to put your blaster. And it's a really big blaster for him, and I kind of like it. Also, I have a minifigure, the Bruce Banner, because he's like this size, normal minifigure. So let's compare him to the size. And I'm pretty, I'm, I'm going to say he is, in reality, the size of just a regular old minifigure. It's not barely, it's, there's no difference. He's the same size as them, so it, it's fine for like a micro transformer. But this is my first one, so you gotta be proud that the arms I completely made on my own, and the way the head works I made on my own. If there's a video online, I didn't see it. I just I just found it on my own way. But like the front for the legs I saw online, which was really helpful. So I'm not saying I don't know who I saw a bunch of videos of different YouTubers, but. You can also take out both of them and grab these. And now he has, you know, little ninja claws. And let me tell you, this guy right here is very poseable. And if you want his hands down, like arms down, like this, you could sort of have him like this. He has his hands down. And usually it wouldn't look good, but the way you position the arms... If you look from the side, it looks weird, but if you look from the front, it looks it looks fine, actually. It looks really nice. So, he can just straight up murder you. And the thing I wanted to show you is if... I'm just talking a lot, but it's what I do. It's what I do best. Um, Here, if I can get rid of that. Here, so if you put his hands like this i also made a little addition to his blaster where if i grab it you see this little connector connection thing and so if you don't want him to have an arm you're you he can just transform his whole arm in reality for me it's on this side but because it's mirrored it's on the other side. I don't know if it's going to be like that for in the recording. But here it is. He can just shoot. Also, I said that this could also work in the transformation. So let me show you that. Okay, so I have him back in vehicle mode. And you also need the sword. Sword is like his main melee weapon. This would be like in probably like G generation 2 something like his other weapons like they're not main weapons i think his main weapon would be a sword but the special part is where his head is where his head is you can flip it like this and i said uh, so i really yeah i made it because this sword right here the little sword if i can grab it doesn't like to disconnect from this piece when i try actually it worked that time Oh my god but it usually doesn't so i decided to just use a whole separate piece and that's also so this is just the one you use for your normal hand but you can also put it where he would usually hold it put it in the back and sort of have it like a rocket booster so he can go zooming around vroom, 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 vroom. Which I think is pretty cool. Also, these little claws, if it's not in the, where the sun, if, the, if I can block the sun, these little claws can actually go. If I can show you. Here, I'm going to give you some good angles of him and a close up because I know you guys can't barely, can barely see him. So don't worry. This is the close up of every weapon oh gosh on him so here this side here is the front and i actually kind of like every weapon on him i haven't found a way to do that in robot mode but it works really good in vehicle mode the little sides are like tire poppers like if he can go to the side and just 
pop your tire and stuff. This side right here is a little rocket booster. His gun turned into a rocket booster that he can use himself. His sword is just like the back bumper of the truck, and I kind of like it. And I watch a lot of student scissors and RX, IX, not RX, IX rollout. So they gave me inspiration to make this video, and a bunch of other little YouTubers who made this inspired me, not inspired helped me not talk to me but i just watching their videos help me make my own little custom so that is downside this is downside and this is diego plays signing out